good morning students a warm welcome to computer aided design course course code p20 de102 i am v rakesh assistant professor department of mechanical engineering kids warangal week 2 self learning topic on wireframe entities before going to enter this topic let us see the lecture outcome for this topic after completion of this lecture student will be able to learn the following lecture outcome that is identify and discuss basic wireframe entities in cad cam let us see the what is uh, uh, let us discussing about what is wireframe entities so what are the different types of uh, entities are available in cad cam system all existing cad cam systems uh, provide uh, users with basic wireframe entities Uh, these wireframe entities are divided into two types one is uh, ana analytical entities second one is synthetic entities here uh, points lines arcs and circles pillars and chompers and conics means ellipses parabolas and hyperbolas these are comes under analytical entities <coughs> hermit cubic spline beta spline new spline bezier curves uh, this type of uh, all curves are comes under uh, synthetic entities the mathematical properties of each entity and how it is used in engineering applications are converted into a user interface or uh, discussed in uh, coming coming videos uh, here analytical curve have three defined equations uh, these analytical curves are represented in the form of uh, implicit method or uh, explicit method in mathematics an implicit curve is a plane curve defined by an implicit equation uh, with two co two coordinate variables like x and y for example uh, let us take one circle the unit circle is defined by the implicit equation already we know the equation for uh, uh, circle that is x square plus y square equal to 1 by by using this equation uh, in general every implicit curve is defined by an equation in the form of f of x comma y equal to 0 that means uh, in the implicit equation we can represent uh, in the form of uh, f of x comma y equal to 0 uh, here implicit means that the equation is uh, not expressed as a solution for either x in terms of y or vice versa so this type of uh, terms uh, uh, were expressed in explicit method uh, in explicit uh, for example usually explicit representation is described by an equation y equal to f of x y and z equal to g of x here y and z are represent in terms of x this type of uh, representation is called as explicit representation if we represent in the form of uh, f of x comma y equal to 0 the type of representation is called as uh, implicit representation if we represent y equal to f of x or z equal to g of x this type of representation is called as explicit representation let us uh, discussing about uh, methods of uh, defining points uh, uh, defining lines uh, uh, arcs and circles uh, and finally we discussed about synthetic curves let us see the first one methods of how how to define a point in different softwares for example let us take uh, uh, defining points we can define a point in two ways that is explicit method and implicit method let us take first one absolute cartesian coordinates that means uh, let us take one point let us take one point p p of a, x comma y comma z here x is the uh, horizontal distance from origin point here y is the vertical distance from origin point z means <coughs> this is the distance in the z direction uh, in the uh, in absolute cart coordinate system we can take any dimension from origin point so in the 
in the implicit method we can represent that is uh, we can consider only distance that means plus d a digitized with or without an active grid that means plus d coordinates of resulting point can be obtained by using verify command coordinates are measured related to the uh, master coordinate system another one is this is the uh, basic form we can represent in the cartesian coordinate that means we can take only x y z the another method is absolute cylindrical coordinate method in this we can take radius angle and z direction we can take radius angle and uh, the length or width in the z direction spherical coordinates are seldom used in but uh, in practice in the implicit method we can consider end point of an existing existing entity for example let us take one line line having two end point that is e1 and e2 uh, for constructing circle also having two end points starting point e1 and closed point e2 let us take arc arc also having two end points e1 and e2 you can take curve that curve also having end points e1 and e2 uh, the third me method is <coughs> incremental cartesian coordinate that means we can take uh, adding uh, incremental in any direction that means delta x delta x in, delta increment in x direction y direction and z direction uh, let us take uh, <coughs> uh, one point p uh, x plus delta x means uh, increment in x direction delta y means uh, increment in y direction y plus delta y z minus uh, delta z means uh, uh, decreasing in the z direction implicit method is center point or origin of an existing entity you can take line having one center point circle also having one center point arc also having center point similar way the next method is incremental cylindrical coordinate that means you can take one point p p of r plus delta r angle theta plus delta theta this is the reference point p naught of r comma theta the incremental then that means uh, after change the position that means incremental cylindrical coordinates are p of r plus delta r theta plus delta theta some cad cam systems require moving the current world coordinate system to the reference point p not to avoid unexpected results uh, for this condition implicit method is intersection point of two existing entities let us take two curves here two intersection points are there this is the i1 and this is the i2 intersection point of two existing entities <coughs> the next one is uh, uh, methods of defining lines uh, already we know the what is line what line means the shortest distance between two end points <coughs> we can uh, represent point by any method that means uh, coordinates method uh, directly you can use mouse and uh, you can draw the lines uh, you can see it these are the end end point for the lines you can take this line these two are the end points for this line uh, for this line these two are the end points for this line uh, we can construct uh, uh, lines in horizontal infinite lines vertical infinite lines angle infinite lines offset infinite line the second one is horizontal that means horizontal we can construct horizontal infinite line that means the line is parallel to x axis of the current uh, wall coordinate system the second one is uh, uh, vertical lines vertical infinite lines uh, that means the line is parallel to y axis of the current uh, wall coordinate system you can see this figure here this is the horizontal coordinate system this is the horizontal line this is parallel to x axis this is the vertical and this is the parallel to y axis are perpendicular to x axis if we change the world coordinate system this horizontal line is parallel to x axis this vertical line parallel to y axis and perpendicular to x axis the next one is we can also uh, construct a line parallel or perpen perpendicular to an existing line uh, you you can see here this is the reference line we can draw the 
line parallel to this reference line or we can construct the or we can draw the line perpendicular to reference line in any software the next one is tangent to existing entities let us take uh, two circles we can draw the tangent to these two circles in four methods uh, let us say first method we can draw the tangent to this, this circle by using this line we can draw the tangent to uh, by using this line or we can draw the tangents uh, in the diagonal way this is the one tangent this is the one tangent so by using uh, four methods we can draw the tangents for tangent line for these two circles for example let us take one circle and point uh, in this condition we can draw only two uh, we are having two possibilities to construct tangents for this point and circle <coughs> the next method is uh, defining arcs and circles in any software uh, uh, for constructing circle we need uh, two parameters one is the radius or diameter and center by using these two parameters we can construct a circle in any software in case of arcs uh, we, 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 uh, we need to require uh, two beginning and ending angles that means this is the beginning angle theta 1 this is the ending angle theta 2 by using these two parameters we can construct uh, that means uh, by using these two parameters, we can construct arcs in any software. The another method is three points defined by any method. With the help of three three points, this is the first point, second point, third point. By using these three points, we can construct a circle in any software. Similar way, uh, for constructing uh, arc by using three points, the first point, second point, and the third point and arc. The next method is center and a point on the circle. You can see this figure. This is the center point. We need to put one point on this circle. Just you can move the cursor. Uh, when you are moving the cursor, the circle radius also increased. Just you can keep the uh, mouse on that uh, circle and just you can click it. Uh, you can also uh, draw the arcs by using center point uh, and a point on the arc. The next one is tangent to line pass through a given point and with a given radius. Uh, let us take one circle. Uh, <coughs> you can draw the circle. You can draw the circle by using uh, tangent to the line in any software. Uh, the another method is defining ellipses. Methods of defining ellipses. The first method is center and axis length. You can see this figure. For constructing ellipse, we need require one center point and axis length. That means uh, major axis length and minor axis length. By using these two parameters, we can construct ellipse in any software. <coughs> Another method is four points. You can see this figure. Uh, this by using these four corner points. By using these four corner points, we can construct uh, inscribed ellipse or circumscribed ellipse. The last one is uh, two conjugate diameters. By using these two conjugate diameters, we can construct uh, ellipse in any software. The next one is methods of defining parabolas. For defining parabola, we need require uh, uh, vertex and focus point. This is the focus point. This is the vertex point. Vertex point means the point uh, uh, must and should lie on parabola curve. By using these two parameters, we can construct uh, parabola in any software the next one is three points here this is the first point and this end point is the vertex point by using these three points we can construct a parabola in CATI uh, or AutoCAD or uh, any other modeling software the next one is methods of defining synthetic curves uh, let us see the first one hermit cubic spline here the curve must and should pass through the all the given the data points and uh, slopes you can see that the starting point p naught and end point uh, p n these two points having uh, <coughs> two slopes this is the p naught dash this is the p n dash this is the tangent to this point this p n dash is tangent to p n point second one is b j curves <coughs> here the curve must and should pass through the first point and end point. 
remaining all are approximate points the next one is b spline curves here b spline curve is divided into two types approximate a given set of data points second one is interpolate a given set of data points approximate means the curve must and must and should pass through the starting point and end point remaining points are nearer to this curve interpolate means the given all data points are the curve must and should pass through the all given data points this is the brief discussion about wireframe entities in cad cam systems <coughs> let us see the lecture outcome for this topic having completed the discussion on wireframe entities now students should able to learn the following lecture outcome that is identify and discuss basic wireframe entities in cad cam wireframe entities means line point line uh circle arcs uh, parabola ellipse uh, and synthetic curves in cad cam system <coughs> uh for more information the students are required to follow the uh, these two textbooks first one is uh, ibrahim jeet and subra shiva subramani rr cad cam theory and practice second edition new delhi tata magra hill 2010 the reading chapter in the test book is 4.3 the another reference book is cad cam computer aided design and manufacturing by jimers emory w grover michael 1984 i hope this topic topic is very clear to everyone thank you for watching